Hey everyone, it's Lawrence from Studio Hook here again, and today we're going to go through and edit our HD access file. Now this is pretty exciting, but also remember, proceed with caution. Some of these codes you have to finagle, you have to tweak to make sure they're specific to your website or else you get the wrong results. I'm going to show you three things that you can do with your HD access file that are really common uses in SEO. So to go through and let's say to start off with, we're trying to redirect one page to another. Let's say we've got a blog post that we've deleted, we've got a category page that we've deleted, and we wanna make sure that we have a really raw file of this redirection. So when Google hits hits the crawl, it crawls that URL, it's being redirected to the right place. So if you wanna do that, this is what you would put into the HT access file to enact that redirection. So you wanna go through to your HT access file, create a couple of lines of code space and jump through and put in a code, which is redirect 301, and you put the old URL in here, but just the specific subfolder or the exact URL. You wouldn't need to include your domain name. You hit a space, and then you put in your new website URL uh, with the new page. Now this is a really simple line of code. We'll actually attach a blog post to this with these codes that you can use. So it's really easy to copy paste them in. Uh, I'm gonna hit save, that redirect will be enacted. So that's the first thing you can do with your HD access file is a simple redirection of one page to another. But let's say we want to migrate an entire website. Well, you need to map out your URLs and you could do these specific lines of codes one by one. Alternatively, if you just wanted to uh, redirect your root domain to a new domain name, is you would take this code, which is rewrite engine on. So to break down what this code means is that when we have rewrite engine on, it's basically saying, hey, look, Here's the old domain, and this is the new rewrite role. So when you hit that old domain, this is the new domain that we want to be directing users to. So in that way, once we hit save changes, essentially I've redirected my domain name to a new website. So I've got studiohook.com.au, and I renamed that to the world's best SEO agency, which we might acquire in the future. But uh, for now, we're just going to keep it at studiohook.com.au, so I'm not going to hit save changes. But if you were doing this on your website, this is where you need to be really careful. And when you hit that save changes, you want to be testing it afterwards as well, making sure that redirection's gone through. Now, the last thing you can do is a really simple force of an SSL certificate. So when you buy an SSL certificate, uh, you need to enable it on your website, but sometimes you can still have the HTTP version accessible by Google's crawlers, uh, and that can create some really bad duplication issues. So a really simple code, and this is something we use quite practically in our SEO agency when we're doing technical workups on websites, is we use a code such as SSL's options, strict require, we've got the old host, and then we push it towards the new uh, SSL certificate version of the website, which will be the HTTPS version. So there you have it. Those are three simple things you can do on your website from a technical perspective. Redirect an old URL, migrate over a website, or force an SSL certificate. I hope that helps you on your pursuit of SEO success and gives you those little tools to be able to enact these technical things on your website. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.